you can calculate the horsepower of a toy car using a few simple materials. In this video, I'll show you how to do the experiment. Place the car at one end of a wooden board and use a ruler and pencil to draw a start line at the front of the car. Prop the other end of the board up on something like blocks of wood, thick books, or a cardboard box to make a ramp. Turn the car on, place it down at the start line, and immediately start a timer. Stop the timer as soon as the car reaches the top of the ramp. It might help to have a volunteer grab the car so you don't have to operate the car and the timer yourself. If you're having trouble timing the car because it's moving too fast, try using a longer ramp. Now it's time for some physics to calculate the power exerted by the car. Power is equal to change in energy or work divided by time. In other words, power is a measure of how fast you can do work. You just measured the time it took the car to drive up the ramp with a stopwatch, but what about the change in energy? We can find that from the car's change in gravitational potential energy. The change in potential energy equals mass times gravity times the change in height. You can measure the change in height from the start line to the end of the ramp. It's important to note that this is the vertical change in height and not the distance along the length of the ramp. We're also making the simplifying assumption that the car immediately accelerates to full speed, so we're ignoring changes in kinetic energy between the bottom and top of the ramp. If you measure the mass of your car using a kitchen scale, you now have all the pieces you need to calculate the power, but you need to be careful and keep track of your units. The power in watts is equal to the mass in kilograms times the acceleration due to gravity, 9.81 meters per second squared, times the height in meters, divided by the time in seconds. Of course, we set out to calculate the car's horsepower, and you can do that by dividing the power in watts by 745.7. Now, here's where things get interesting. See what happens if you change the angle of the ramp, then redo the test and the power calculation. Do you get the same number? We are not going to give the results away in this video, but try making a graph of the power versus the car's speed as you change the angle of the ramp. With a little more physics, you can also calculate the RPM and torque of the wheels and find out how they relate to power. Check out the link in the description for the equations you need. For instructions for this and over 1500 other science projects in all areas of science and engineering, visit our website www.sciencebuddies.org.